On June 14th, the head of South Korean entertainment powerhouse YG Entertainment announced his resignation over rising drug allegations against this artist. Yang hyun Seok, the chief producer and founder of YG Entertainment, said in a statement that he will put down all his titles and duties at the company. This week, Korea Now looks into those scandals that led to Yang's step down and its aftermath. Yang stormed onto the K-pop scene as a member of three-member boy band Sotage and Boys, whose sensational career from 1992 to 1996 introduced the hip-hop to the mainstream K-pop scene. The band was virtually the country's first idols with a status that matched those of today's widely adored K-pop stars. He founded YG in 1997, which is successfully launched on the K-pop scene with his first-generation boy band such as Jinushan and One Time. They were followed by more globally sensational artists like Big Bang, 21, and most recently a four-member girl band, Blackpink. Consequently, YG has become one of South Korea's big three K-pop agencies along with JYP and SM Entertainment. However, YG's ethical standard for its artists came under keen public scrutiny as many of the big-name singers under its management have been involved in a series of scandals. Recently, B.I., the songwriting leader of K-pop boy band Icon, left the band on allegations that he bought prohibited drugs three years ago. Yang is suspected of having tried to cover up the case with the help of Lee Sung Hoon of YG boy band Winner. Yang, who has also been facing separate allegations of providing sex services to potential foreign investors, refuted all accusations and professed his innocence. He argues that current news reports and rumors will be probed thoroughly and that the truth will be revealed. YG, however, has constantly been dogged by drug allegations involving its singers such as boy band Big Bangs, G-Dragon and Top, and Park Bom, a former member of girl group 21. In March, Seung Lee was dispelled from Big Bang and the agency after a nightclub burning sun associated with him came under investigation over drug and sexual abuse. YG often responded to such drug allegations with an indifference and sometimes with a threat to sue those who made accusations for defamation. Recently, YG even claimed that there had been no YG artist who tested positive for an illicit drug through a bi-monthly test run with their own drug kit purchased from the US. However, some criticized that using its own kit for regular drug tests only shows how serious the drug issues are among its artists. Furthermore, the company is currently under special tax investigation for its alleged involvement in the scandal surrounding Seung Lee. The truth behind the scandals will be revealed through the police investigation. The police have launched a special team to look into the drug case as well as the alleged collusion between Yang and the police. However, some are concerned that Yang's departure places YG at an uncertain path in going forward. Some critics even say that YG's scandals also do not bode well not only for its artists such as Blackpink enjoying its heyday with its latest album Kill This Love, but also for the whole K-pop sensation or a phenomenon called Hallyu. What are your thoughts on this? Please let me know with your comments below and thank you for watching Korea Now.